Morning guys, this is 25 Christie Lane. It does have a ramp going up to the house. It's got a circle driveway. It's, in, it's a manufactured home community. It's really close to Gunnersville Lake. I have driven around a little bit, but I don't know if there's lake access directly from the neighborhood, but the main road's up there and you're maybe a half a mile and the lake is down in the woods down there. Two storage sheds, we'll have to see if they convey walk you through it it's definitely gonna need a little TLC uh, the roof looks decent but there's I don't know if you can see the dip but there's a dip right there in the roof where it comes down I don't know if there's any rot I didn't see anything inside but um, probably gonna need a new roof within the next five years it is on a foundation all the way around all the axles have been removed there's pillars supporting it I have the documentation on that you enter into the living room. So, somebody had pets in here, and you can smell it. It's not as bad as that other house, but it's it's still pretty strong when you first walk in. And you can see it on the like corners there, and I'll show you another corner over here in the dining room. It's just you can tell where the animal has used the bathroom on that corner and all on the floor here. But living room. Dining room. Sorry, I can't get that light to come on. It is a smaller living room. I don't know y'all's furniture situation, what all you had, but um, but it is smaller living room. Like I say, flooring's gonna need to be replaced. Some of the uh, baseboards and fascia and stuff will come through the living room. And I'm guessing this is like a dining room, living room combo here. It's a, this one's a big, good size room. Breakfast nook. It looked like they were using this as a living room. Looked like where there's a recliner and a couch. This room's pretty good size. And then the kitchen, big kitchen, lots of cabinets. And then we'll go, you come through this living room into the master bedroom. That's a really good sized bedroom. That has a semi walk in closet. Yeah, can't get that light work either, sorry. And then this bedroom <clears throat> into the bathroom. Good size bathroom. Bathroom is gonna need some work. The tile in the floor it's got to, it needs to be retiled. It's kind of funky. Broken tiles. And then the shower, it's a really big shower. And it's the same thing. It's got a couple of missing tiles. I don't know where they came from. I don't see where they came off, but there's tiles laying right there. So. But yeah, just some cleanup in here and kind of all, it's going to need flooring throughout. Back out into the living room. Into the kitchen. We'll go down the hallway. Water heater in there, laundry room. We got a set, separate freezer in here, and this goes. I'm not gonna. They told said so the back deck is not safe to walk on. Backyard, semi-private backyard. Definitely will need a new deck and some steps if you plan to use the backyard. <clears throat> and then the other bedrooms there are smaller bedrooms floor looks okay in that one this bedroom seems to be a little bit bigger need some Really just clean, clean up in these, in the small closets in all these bedrooms. 
This is bedroom number three. And then bedroom number four. Now it's more of an office. It's really small. Probably it's it's probably eight by ten, maybe. Same size closet. It's big enough. It's big enough for just to put a bed. Really just to put a bed in. Not much else. Maybe a side table. And then the hall bath. Sorry, all these light switches are behind the door. Yeah, same thing in here, just really some cleanup and some redo. But I would say, I would say flooring throughout, unless you can match this flooring. In here doesn't look terrible. It's just got some dents and dings in the floor. A few orange spots, but I mean, you could like put laminate in this house for really cheap. We do the whole thing. I don't see anything structurally or anything, you know, major. Uh, it's just gonna need the, the flooring and then the cleanup is the major thing, so. But, other than that, it's a good location. You're um, probably 15 minutes to Guntersville, uh, 30 minutes to Huntsville, something like that. You're close to New Hope. You're probably 20 minutes to a, um, a Publix or any grocery store, something like that. I'm gonna walk around the outside um, and check it out. And if you guys have any questions, give me a shout. Thanks.